man, a skate pedal is like pretty cool and all, but what am I supposed to do with just one knob? Like, how do I tweak the rest of the parameters? I gotta have more control over my gate. Quit whining, man. You sound like a bass player. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's right, bitches. It's me, Tiny Glenn. Jesus, Tiny Glenn, you scared the crap out of me. God. Well, as long as you're here, do you think that maybe you could do something about this? Like, it's fine, but I need more control. <laughs> Your bass player needs more control. Yes, Grandma, I know my bass player needs more control, program drums, yada yada. It's 2021. If you're not gonna come up with some better jokes, can you at least come up with a better version of your gate? Ah. Uh, is that too much to ask? Fine, I guess oh, so. Oh, great, thank you. While we're at it, is it all right if my audience has a coupon code so that they can get a little bit of a discount? I think they've put up with enough of your shit already. Fine, but you gotta promise me you'll never cut the mic. Thank you, Grandma. Everybody say thank you, Grandma. Thank Fuck you, Grandma. you, Glenn. All right, Tiny Glenn claims that this is gonna be an improvement on the original, but as always, there's only one way to find out. So let's try it out, I guess. I don't know, man, this looks basically the same. There's only one knob still. <laughs> knob. Wait a second, what is this? Oh, hello. Now we're talking. Man, this thing is filthy with knobs. Look at this. Input gain, threshold, output gain, attack, hold, release. And then we got some switches. There's nothing on the back of the real cock blocker except for Glenn's dumb logo. So here's what it sounds like without the gate on. <laughs> Pretty noisy. So this is one of Glenn's preset. It's called Tight Metal Rhythm. It's okay, it's all right, but I made one of my own that I think is way better. And I think I've achieved exactly what I'm looking for. The way that I really want a gate to sound is tight, but also natural. And the problem with that is that they're kind of mutually exclusive to a certain extent. But I think in conjunction with having good playing technique and sort of practicing with the gate that you're gonna be using, you can actually get it to sound great. The way that I've got the pedal set up and routed in Pro Tools is the same idea as when I use the physical cock blocker pedal with an analog amp, and that is that it's keying off of my guitar's DI signal. So what the plugin is actually hearing to open and close the gate is the DI signal, but I've put it after my amp sim plugin, which is one of my favorites, Tone Forge Jeff Loomis, which has its own gate, but as you can see, I have turned it off, obviously. I've got the DI signal from the guitar routed through a bus so that I can use the sidechain option in the cock blocker, and that is what you are hearing, and it works great. So you guys may remember when I found a secret by opening up the back panel of the original cock blocker. Well, guess what? There is another super sick little secret in the second back panel. So we're looking at the back panel right now. If I push on the key listen button, we're treated to another back panel, a backer panel. Obviously it's not real, it's digital, so they can do it. There could be 70 back panels, it doesn't matter. But check this out, we can customize the key listen function with a high and a low pass. So now we can hear what the pedal is hearing. That's what the key listen does. If we turn it off, okay. So this is partly just to test to make sure that we can hear what the pedal is hearing because if the pedal is hearing a distorted guitar signal like the amp, then it's not gonna work right. It's just gonna be a big mess. So here's something that I've learned from metal rhythm guitar, okay? Chuggy, heavy, low stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work that well with the gate, and part of the reason is the low end tends to kind of like fart over the whole thing, and it kind of just keeps going when you want the sound to stop. So, what I've done here is I've actually taken out most of the low end from the signal just that the gate is hearing to trigger the gate on and off. So you're not gonna be hearing this high and low pass. 
It's just the pedal hearing that and then turning the gate on and off. If we don't do this, if I turn it all the way off and then... It doesn't turn off fast enough. And then you wind up turning up the threshold to compensate. Which works, but you can have the threshold a lot lower and just use this high pass instead and turn off the key listen so that you can actually hear it. I think that works way better. I've also turned up the low pass quite a bit, and the reason for that is to try to get rid of the squeakies um, as much as possible. You know, there's it's kind of impossible to actually get rid of them, but uh, you can reduce it by a, a good bit. So if you sort of reduce what the gate is hearing to just the mid-range part of the guitar, it's just going to work a lot better. It's going to operate much more cleanly. You can dial it in crazy tight, like Veil of Maya tight. Let's see. Which does not sound very natural, but is extremely clean. You can go, I mean... If you want to sound like a robot, you can do that too. As much as I hate to admit it, Glenn has made himself an extremely powerful and versatile gate plugin. That's it. That's what I want a gate to do. How am I supposed to give Glenn a hard time when he made something that's this good? There are of course plenty of gate plugins and pedals on the market and I just find that I can't usually make them sound exactly the way that I want them to. And part of that is just that a lot of them don't have all of the controls that I want, but the cock blocker, believe it or not, Glenn has done good on this and it has everything that I want and it sounds exactly how I want it to sound. So I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description where you can download my preset for the Cock Blocker plugin and you can use it in your very own instance of the Cock Blocker plugin which you're gonna be able to get for the discounted price of $37 using the link in the description for the coupon code that my grandma Glenn kindly gave to us. It's a Gear Gods exclusive and it's only good for the next week after this video goes up. So if you're gonna do it, you're gonna wanna do it now. And as always, if you don't mind just hitting that thumbs up. Yeah, like there's anybody watching this. Man, I have had just about enough of you. Wait, what are you doing with that? Oh, fuck. fuck oh, I got him now. Get me out of here, man. Oh, he's pissed. I <laughs> you a fuck you, Glenn. <laughs>